Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com, and today I'm showing you Brute LFO. It's an iPhone app that works in the iPad as well. And uh, what it does is it allows you to uh, take the output of your iPhone or iPad and use that to be a modulation source for any CV input um, device that you have, such as a Micro Brute, a Mini Brute, or a uh, Eurorack synthesizer, whatever it may be. Uh, so what you have here is we've got two LFOs up top. We have a phase. We've got the detune, the rate of the LFOs, the amount of the LFOs, which is uh, the amplitude. You've got a third LFO that will modulate these two LFOs. Rate for that and amount for that. Then over here we have a pad section. I'll get to that in just a second. What I'm going to show you right now is I'm going to show you what uh, the output of it looks like going through a scope. I'm just using uh, the camera connection kit uh, for the iPad 4 going into my um, Tractor Audio 10 and sending that audio into my computer. So you can do the same just going straight out the headphone output of the device or you can use if you have an audio interface for your iPad, you can do that as well. So let's take a look at what we have here. Now when I bring up the rate, I'm going to bring it up here a bit, and then I'm going to bring up the amount. The amount is going to be our volume. So now you can see the LFO. And as I bring the rate up, you'll see... So as you can see, I can change the LFO wave shapes by these switches here. I can change the phase now with the phase all the way to the left uh, you're getting a kind of triangle square uh, type of waveform or sawtooth square or whatever it is and what we can do is we bring the phase up to about 11 o'clock and you'll get a good sine wave out of it so now we've got this sine wave and of course you can modulate how intense it is and the rate. Way down. Now we also have this obey and brute. When you send it into brute, I don't know if it's an overdrive or, you know, technically what it is that's happening, but it, it makes the LFO go a bit nuts. So it will go all the way up into audio range, of course. And right now I'm using it in audio range just so that I can kind of illustrate. I'll, I'll hook it up to the Euro Rack and the Mini Brute and Micro Brute in a minute. But uh, let me just show you this. So let's say we want a sign. Okay, we've got this sine wave here, and we want to modulate that. We can bring the amount up of the third LFO. Okay, now let's go to the pads area and take a look at that. The pads area are uh, little XY pads that will allow you to adjust the amount rate, the modulation amount, and the modulation rate. So, when we do that. Let's go back here. We're going to set this up higher.
Okay, now let's go ahead and hook it up to the um, Euro rack. What I'm going to do is, because I'm running this all through my mixer, all I really have to do is just change uh, some input buttons. Now I have just a simple sine wave, or excuse me, square wave, going into the SOB filter, which is controlled by the uh, root LFO. Now when I turn up the CV amount, Okay, and that's just the Brute LFO controlling uh, the CV input of my SOB filter. Now, you can use that on, you know, you could do the same for something like a, um, like the Micro Brute or the Mini Brute or Sub Fatty, uh, you know, any, any analog synthesizer that's going to take a modulation input source like that, this will work on. So, something interesting to check out. It's on the App Store now. And I'll post another video later on showing it set up uh, with a few different synthesizers. Peace.